Hello everyone. So we were working on this problem in our American Math Competition Review course. It says that the P is a prime number, and we want to find out which one of these expressions can never be a prime number. If you start with a prime number, you end up with a non-prime number for any prime numbers. That's the question. This problem is from American Math Competition 10. It's one of the mathematical Olympiads that is held in the United States. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We talk about everything in mathematics here. You can check the link in the description for our outstanding courses on mathematical sciences. In this video, using this particular problem, we will learn a concept. I've talked about this concept quite a few times in this channel. It's called forms of a number. Forms of a number. So, what is it? That's what we will talk about. And then we will use it to actually solve the problem. So, let's try to understand the concept. If you have the number 2, Using the number 2, you can categorize all integers into two groups. The even numbers and the odd numbers. If you think carefully, you will understand that even numbers are those numbers which produces 0 as a remainder. 0 as a remainder when you divide by 2, when you divide by 2. Think about it. Usually, when you talk about even numbers, you just say, okay, those are the numbers which are divisible by 2. Those are the numbers which are divisible by 2. All I am saying is the remainder is 0 when you divide by 2. It's the same thing, right? Okay, so what about odd numbers? Where the remainder is 1 when you divide by 2. That's the, those are the only two remainders possible when you divide a number by 2, right? So, what you can do is you can write any integer using 2. How can you do that? Well, it's 2k and 2k plus 1. 2k means the number is divisible by 2 or it's an even number or it produces remainder 0 when divided by 2. And 2k plus 1 is the odd numbers form. It clearly says k is the quotient and 1 is the remainder if you divide the number by 2. So, these are the two forms based on the number 2, right? So, the same thing can be done with the number 3. So, same thing can be done with the number 3. So, if you divide any number by 3, the remainders are 0, 1, 2. Now, the numbers with remainders 0 when divided by 3 is just 3k. Numbers with remainder 1 when divided by 3 is 3k plus 1. And numbers with remainder 2 when divided by 3 is 3k plus 2. k is the quotient, 2 is the remainder. It seems that if you write numbers using their forms, oftentimes you get certain beautiful results about all the numbers with that particular form. We will see an example in this American math competition problem. By the way, these concepts are discussed in detail with a lot of example problems in our Math Olympiad programs. So, if you are an internal student at Chinda, make sure to at attend the number theory module. We talk about forms of numbers in great detail. Okay? Alright. Now, let's come back to this problem. It starts with a prime number, P, and it says that, okay, what are the what is the one expression here that is never that is never a prime? It's always a composite number. It's always divisible by something else. 
So it turns out, and here is the really, here is the trick. Here is the trick. You have to use the number six, the forms based on six, forms based on six to really unlock this problem. Of course, how do you know that you have to use the base of six? Well, it comes with experience of solving a lot and lot of problems in the math and bad level. So, what are the forms of numbers based on number 6? Well, if you divide any number by 6, the remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the number is, uh, so the forms are 6k, 6k plus 1, 6k plus 2, 6k plus 3, 6k plus 4, 6k plus 5. We want to know what is the form of the prime number P. First of all, it can't be 6K. Think about it. Because it's obviously divisible by 2 and 3. A prime number is never divisible by more than one number. So 6K is not possible. Similarly, 6K plus 2 is not possible. Of course, for K equal to 0, it's possible. That is for P equal to 2. But apart from that, 6k plus 2 is always divisible by 2. So it's not a prime number. Apart from the case where it is 2 itself. Except for. Except for. P equal to 2. Similarly 6k plus 3 is never a prime number. Because it's divisible by 3. Except for. P equal to 3. And 6k plus 4 is never a prime number. Because it's divisible by 2 always so 6k plus 4 is not a prime number so the only possibilities are 6k plus 1 and 6k plus 5 any prime number apart from 2 and 3 any prime number apart from 2 and 3 are of form 6k plus 1 and 6k plus 5 okay all right so you do have to check with 2 and 3 separately but let's focus on 6k plus 1 and 6k plus 5. So you can check whether 2 square plus 20. So I'll give you the answer actually. The answer is p square plus 26. We will see in a moment why p square plus 26 is never a prime number. But you can check with p equals to 2. And so that's p squared is 4. p squared plus 26 is 30. Which is not a prime number. Similarly, for p equals to 3, p squared is 9, p squared plus 26 is 35. So, 35 is not a prime number. So, for 2 and 3, we sort of hand check what's going on. But for the rest of the prime numbers, we will use the forms 6k plus 1 and 6k plus 5. Okay, so let's look at p square plus 26. Let's look at the form of this one. I will do one of them. You have to do the other one. Okay. So let's do the let's do the case where p is equal to six k plus one. So p square plus twenty six is six k plus one whole square plus twenty six, which is thirty six k square plus 12k plus 1 plus 26. I just expanded it. So 36k squared plus 12k plus 27. But notice that this is always divisible by 3. This is 3 times 12k squared plus 4k plus 9. So if a number is always divisible by 3, and obviously here p is a prime greater than 3, because I have checked for 2 and 3 by hand. So, p squared plus 26 is never a prime number. It's always divisible by 3. The other case that you have to check, and you can do this in the comment section. We often award best commenters with a book or a little scholarship to our 
programs so you can try to make as many comments as you can we want more interactions that's how mathematics becomes fun right so check the case where p is of the form 6k plus 5 so tell me how that is not a prime number for any value of p okay i hope you enjoyed this problem mathematics is really beautiful check the link in the description for more beautiful resources and i hope to see you in the next video take care bye